But really, when you give to the church, you're doing something supernatural. It's not natural. And what you're saying is, my treasure is not in what I have in my bank account. It's in God. Now, would I ever say, God, this is a tough question, y'all. Would I ever say, don't pay your bill, but pay your tithe? Or don't pay your bill, but give to the church? I can't say that for you. You gotta make that up in your mind. You, uh, it's unto your own faith. Right. It's according to your own faith. You have to believe it for yourself. Either you believe it or you don't. Now I can tell you what I do. Right. Amen. That's a good way to put it. I can tell you that just like Uncle Sam take his money out the bank, out my check, he don't care what bills I got. I give God his money out the bank. I don't care what bills I got. And then with whatever's left over. That's what I do. Amen. That's what I do. I give to God because I know where it comes from. I know he's the source. And so what I'm doing is not paying him, Bubby. I'm activating my faith. I'm showing him that I that this little money don't mean anything to me because I want what's past the money. I, I'm not reaching for God's hand. I'm reaching for his face. That's good. Reach his face, get his hand. I want to. I want to see God. I want to see His glory. Amen. So I. I mean, you know, a couple of dollars, coin, put it back in the, you know, in the church. Hey, I know where it came from. Amen. So I, I, we'll talk. We'll talk. Amen. See, see my wife after service. We'll, we'll get you squared away. Amen. Amen. I'll show you. The truth. Good. Good question right here. Yes, sir. Pastor Dante, I have yes, a question. Hey, Adrian. Good. Hi. <laughs> I, I wanted to kind of piggyback on, on what she asked, because I know that she hasn't been here, and we've talked a lot about giving money, right? But can I, do I just have to give money to God? Or what uh, What other things can I offer God? Absolutely not. Christ? You, everything, this, this is what we say, everything belongs to God. Good. Yes. Everything. The Bible says, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness there are thee, you, and they that dwell within it. So when you give to God, you're giving everything to God. Get this though, and I, maybe I wasn't, maybe I haven't been clear, so I'll be clear right here. Giving to God is not about God. It's about you. Because he says, where your, where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. So if I work really hard at the church, right. come on, come on. if I work really hard, I come here every day, I volunteer, I mop, I clean, I do whatever, I, I give everything I got to the church personally, but I spend all my money at the strip club, then that's where my heart is. Yeah. It doesn't matter that I mop the floor. Yeah. 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 Where my treasure is, my heart is. Yeah. Yeah. So let's be clear right here. I, I, at some point, yes, give and it shall be given unto you. Give what? At anything. Whatever you give, it shall be given unto you in great measure. Press down, shaking together, running over, shall men give it to your bosom. Give your hard work, give your sweat. Remember, when, when God cursed Adam, whoo, Lord, is Lord. When God cursed Adam, he said, by the sweat of your brow shall you eat meat. When you see my sweat, you know that this is the way I eat. Oh. This is my currency. This is what I use to eat. DB, when you see me sweat, you, you know that I'm giving you something that God told me to use to eat. So the work that I do for God is my currency to God. Amen. But this money thing, just to be clear, this money thing is about you. It's about your heart. Where's your heart? God's heart is secure. God will, God will no matter what seed you put in the ground, we, t we talked about this, whatever seed you put in the ground, you're going to get that back. You're going to be blessed for all the work you do. But this particular series, this conversation, is about your heart. Where is your heart? If I scrub this ground with my hands and knees, but go give all my money to the lottery, 
That's where my heart is. That's good. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's good. Amen. All right, come on, man. Uh, when we give, should we give off of our net or our gross? Can somebody answer that for me? Gross. 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 It's, it's gross. And why? <laughs> and why? It's gross, but you gotta do it because it's all. It's all. Right, right. It's all. The tithe is of all, of everything you have. It's of everything you get. It's, the Bible says of, of the increase of your land. And in fact, if you really go into where they did it in Leviticus, and be clear here, we talked about this, right? The tithe, the tithe is not law. You will not go to hell if you don't give money to the church. Be clear. I'll, I'll, I'll stand here. I'll stand flat-footed and tell you this. You can never give a dime. You can come here and sing, pray and worship, never give a dime. Because it has nothing to do with God. It have That's to do right. with you. Right. That's right. Now you will never see the dime. That's right. Oh, come, on. come on, tell the truth. That's it. But it has to do with your. It's, it's you. It has to do with you. So, so when you, but in Leviticus he would say, he would say, if you have ten ducks, one of them is God's. Yes. If you have ten goats, one of them is God's. If you have ten, he didn't say, if you have ten goats and the government take one. <laughs> then you only owe God one ninth of a goat. No, that's not how that works. Right. If you had ten goats given to you, no matter what Pfeiffer did, right. you owe God one of those. Right. That's good. Amen. 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 Question. We got another question back here, up here too? Oh, yeah. One back here, one up there. Uh -huh. All right. We, we got to move, man. We got to move. Do you tie your child support as well? Ooh, oh, Ooh, that's good. Oh, oh. We get deep, Lord. Oh, oh. Good. <laughs> we get deep. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, guys. Okay, this is what. This is what. Yeah, man. Jesus. That's a whole song right here. Some of the brothers are scared and everything. <laughs> All right, here we go. Listen, I'm sorry. Listen. This is what I'll say. Two things. The first thing is, if that money is coming from somebody who tithes already, then he anointed that money. Mm. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? He already he paid tithes on that money. Oh, he get, you know. If somebody, that's good. You, but but you don't know. Yeah. Right. You don't know. But what I what I'm saying is the responsibility is on the. Come on. If you know that that person who gave you child support money and they tied. Oh. I would say, then you don't have to tithe on that. Okay. That's your kid's money. Okay. You don't have to tithe on that. If you don't know, I would just anoint that money by giving 10% of it. I would. Amen. That's just me. Yeah, me I'm not, there's no biblical context for what we're talking about here. Do you see what I mean? There's nothing, Jesus never said, and if you pay child support, <laughs> it was nothing like that. So, there's no biblical context. I can't go there. All I can tell you is what I would do with my own money and anything that was increased to me. I, I, I get nervous. Me and my wife, I talk like, I'll just be honest for a second. If I don't see my tithe leave the bank in a timely manner, I get nervous. I'll be like, man, me too. what happened? You didn't, ain't no bank transfer or nothing. And she said, no, it's done. It's good. You just, you know, you tripping. Calm down. But I don't want to mess up my, what we got going. God's been blessing us. I'm not trying to mess that up. So I anointed. I want to anoint every dime I get. You know, when I get blessed, when I get a little extra this or whatever, whatever it is, I, I, I put, I told Ravon, I got a, I got one of those, oh man, I've been preaching this series. I got one of those phantom checks in the mail. 
one of them checks, you you know you didn't, you didn't do nothing to get this. Wow. It just showed up. Boom. Bang. It hit hard too, right, Dominique? It wasn't no joke either. Yeah, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, no, I got a tithe on this. I didn't even have to. It wasn't, I, I wasn't going to a whole big explanation, but I shouldn't have had to. But I'm going to anoint that money. Yeah. But it's up to you. It's, your, it's, your, it's, it's up to you. It's up to you, sis. It's up to you. Area Oh no, Abby, take the time. <laughs> well, as y'all know, Quinn and I are always late, so if this question was asked earlier, sorry, so I'm gonna apologize in advance. But um, since you were talking about uh, tithing, you know, being about you and your heart, if we go to our bank account and we look at our money and we say, oh, we still gotta, we still gotta pay the church, have I already taken the value out of my tithe? To God because I. That's, good. that's a good question. Yeah. That's, good. that's a good question. No, 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 no. no that's a good question. I mean, and I would say, well, what I, what I do, what we do in our family, and my wife really does a really good job of doing this for us. She does it first. She don't pay anything else until she do that. Okay, so whatever, whenever we get a direct deposit, she just boom, she does it. I, I won't say it devalues the time, but again, it, it, I would question where you are if you didn't give it first. Right. And I wouldn't even set myself up for that end situation where my tithe is 300 and my bank is 302. Because that would be... <laughs> yeah, I would, I'd probably say, well, God, wait till, the, wait till the hit again, then I'll, I'll double up on you. 